What's up video creator, it's videomark.net. Welcome to this magic frame tutorial for After Effects. Every other week I would get, since two years, I would get the question, hey, how did you create this video that you have in your Facebook profile? And um, I created this a while ago, so I thought I would uh, create a tutorial on how to, how to make this in After Effects. It's actually very simple. The core technique behind this is, is basically what, what Zach King does, the Final Cut thing. You've probably seen some of his, of his posts. Um, and the core technique is actually very simple. And um, yeah, let's uh, dive right in and let's see how this works. Okay, so we're here in the we're in the project file here, and as you can see, it's actually not uh, very complex. So here's that one clip on top of the clean plate in the background. When we take a look at the source clip which is the mask here. It's actually pretty simple that I, I did mask out um, the frame. And at a certain point, I wanted to keep the part um, to the top left since I didn't want to crop out, crop out the head and then mask out the lower right. And the source file, when you look at it, really simple. Here's... Um, the camera, it's Sony RX100. It's pretty simple. This can also be done with a smartphone. And um, I'm trying to line up, frame everything, then make stupid faces. <laughs> and I think I used that one right there. Um, pretty easy. When we drag this clip into the to a new composition, and I think it was something around here. Was it here? Yeah. And then starting from there, trim the layer, Alt, opening bracket. And all we need is this because I knew I wanted to, to loop it. And then Alt, closing bracket. That's what we have. And then take the pen tool, find a starting point. Rotoscoping elements and videos can get um, pretty complex. There's professional techniques, but in this case, it was really simple. So take the pen tool. Um, then click along the shape of this frame and then go into the mask, click the stopwatch on the mask path since we want to animate. And what you can do is, um, by the way, I'm, uh, alt scrolling scroll wheel using the scroll wheel to zoom in and out the timeline. I get that question a lot. How do you do that? So this is how you do it and then make bigger steps. At first, you might be thinking, okay, let's go frame by frame, but you could save yourself a ton of work when you go bigger steps and then uh, move this whole thing and then adjust these points because if you went frame by frame, you would be creating much more keyframes than you would actually need and this way and then go uh, right in between these keyframes refine it a little more and you will see in a second that it's already starting to look like almost it's it's finding its uh position and animating in and this already looks something like the final video and then you would go go in and refine it even more Right, and if you did it the other way around, went frame by frame, it would be creating, you would have much more work. And this way, you would um, you can save yourself a ton of work. And then at, at a certain point, of course, when I um, put this into the final position, this one mask point here, I actually want to shoot right above because I don't want to crop out the head. That's basically the way to go through this keyframing. When you look at the final mask like this, as you can see, it's just that one mask point shooting up. And as you can see down here, um, this is what I mean. When you, If, if I uh, go through this and, and keyframe everything frame by frame, it's going to take forever. And at certain points, you need it a little more um, keyframes, but here it was, I got away with much less keyframes than expected. 
And then in the final video here, so let me solo this. This is our masked out part. That one here, as you can see, mask. And then I duplicated this. Let me duplicate this, bring this over, and then just right click time and time reverse layer. Of course, you want to line this up so it matches perfectly. And then you have your perfect loop. And the last thing you would need to do is actually um, create that clean plate. And that's just as easy as bringing in, let me solo this, bringing in the source video and finding a point where I'm not in frame and then right click time freeze frame that will add a whole keyframe and then throughout the whole timeline you will just see that one frame simple as that that's our keyframe here uh, our clean plate and when we bring in simple as that okay and then let me delete that and the very last thing that I did was adding a camera shake because it's very important that this um, the camera is sitting on a tripod um, that way you can get away with the simple masking and then add a uh, add camera shake later because then for the viewer it will look like it, there's some fancy camera tracking going on but actually it's not that's the core technique behind Zach King's Final Cut King's success. It's not much more than that. Of course, recently it got more complex with 3D and camera projection, all these things. But most of his stuff have been created this way with um, camera shake and post production and the viewer having the impression that it has been camera, that the camera has been tracked and everything. No, it's a simple thing, but it adds a lot um, to the final result. Adding the camera shake, very last thing, layer, new, null object. We'll bring in the null. It's right here. And then select the um, clean plate, select our first clip, select our reversed clip, and then pick with that to, to our null. And then animate, no, um, just scale it a, l a little, five, six percent, so we have enough real estate to actually animate the 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 footage and not cropping it and then bring in the position hit the stopwatch and then really just animate that by hand you don't have to in after effects you have the wiggle effect you don't even have to do that use that because just animating this by hand will will look good enough certainly for social media um and it will look like a camera shake right simple as that and then you can, of course, um, select the amplitude, and that's up to you how far you want to go with the camera shake. And here I just uh, I um, added some color adjustment, some vignette. That's um, your personal taste. And what I have here is a shape layer. So I have a guide for a square video. Originally, this, this was intended for my Instagram account where I dump all my video experiments. I don't have some, I don't have any significant reach on Instagram, so feel free to go over there and um, follow me there. And that's basically it. All right, that's it. That's the simple magic frame technique, but it's, uh, you can uh, create impressive results with it. Make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell to not miss any future tutorials and free templates here on videomark.net and I'll see you in the next video.